Driving around my neighborhood, I wonder how many people are building contraptions in their basements. Maybe making time machines, military weapons, perpetual motion, inscribing a new Bible, or covering the walls in an undecipherable kind of math. Green plug a service twent. But I am too liberal to talk to any of my neighbors to see if they are crafting the doohickey of the century. But lucky for me, I've trained the computer to bring me an infinite amount of mentally insane people to watch. Plug a E is two point Swan Gun Goog. This is <laughs> this is exactly what I'm what I'm talking about. This is what I like to see. This guy is creating. He's reinventing math. What what did he say here? Green plug a service twent plug a E. Threen plug a sev is twent. So thirteen plus seven is twenty. So threen is thirteen plus sev. And that's twent. He's basically just renaming the numbers in the renaming the numbers in the, renaming all the integers. And then E two points foon goo gun goo gore fine four. <laughs> okay, I need an explanation for this. Slugatrix <laughs> is hun eight. Mega three is three twar. Mega three is nine. Thrix Mega 2 is foo. Plug a Thrix 20 is twine zvu. What the heck? Negative 3 is 2,969. Thrix Mega 2 is vu. Okay. This is undecipherable. I have no idea what's going on. There has to be like a, a guide on what what's the baseline here. Zo, Zun, Zor, Zain, Snix, Twive, Thrix, Frein, Score, Gun, Hun, Hunt, One, Hun, Four, Hun. What? Six, two, Twive, Two, Fix, Two, Gun, Three, Tor, Three, Scun, Four, Hun, Four, Frein. I, I don't think this is what I was looking for. What are we starting with here? Let's butter me up before we jump into the deep end. This is just to learn the words. Real math starts once you have all the tools you needed. Twix Mega 2 is foo. Plug a zot is scoo. Plug a 5 is scav. Mega 6 is... I've been sitting here for maybe 10 minutes trying to think about this. Okay. I... Okay. I think I got it. Twix 26. I think he's taking like double digit numbers. Cutting... Okay. So 26. 20 is like a... What's it called? A prefix. Tw. So if anything's in 20, it would start with tw and then end with the last letters of the post post fix 26 just cut the middle part out twix mega is multiply or times this is like this is like speed running math expressions like this doesn't help you do any more math it's just like a faster way to say expressions to people but plus plus took too much time to say <laughs> so we're gonna change it out for plugger <laughs> Foo plug a zote is scoo. <laughs> I don't know why the postfix two would just be two zeros. Then plug a zote. So 10 is zote. Where's the tens? Scoo. Sk. 60. K two. I don't understand this. How am I gonna? I, I, want, him, I want him to give me a test because I think I could nail this test. Svori through digga two. Can he say that word? <laughs> So digga is divide svori through svori sve sev vor what what's seventy three forty two divided by two I don't know why we're putting like the words in like the the bottom right through what's through <gasps> through through so I recommend learning the squares in chunks so one four nine snicks twive thrix frying I'm never gonna be able to do this. Do you remember the cave lady from earlier this year? I think she fits this category perfectly. She just started digging a hole in her basement to God knows where and got so popular on TikTok that the, the feds found her out. Breaking rock is a- Look at her go. Activating a storm shelter. It lingers in the air. It's genius to ask for forgiveness rather than permission on this one. And I'm planning to engineer a filtration system. In response to a set of comments that I received on a set of plans, documents, and reports that I submitted in response to another set of comments from a prior submission of plans, documents, and reports. No, I received a new set of comments. From what you just saw there, she has been stuck in eternal permit purgatory. Her cave has been put on hold since like March, I think. And she's been emailing and going through the official government way. What the heck? 
they just they just don't want her to survive when civilization ends and she'll rise from the ashes before the billionaires do in their secret Antarctic base and conquer the world. That's what that's the real that's what's going on here. Yeah, so she hasn't been doing anything. There's some of the tools which I use daily and like not sponsored. S twin. But in the meantime, she is shilling tools. This topic reminds me of the people who who create perpetual motion machines. Look at this. A man was kicked out of his house for spending all his time researching and building a machine that could run forever without any external power. Yeah, right. Okay. Invention, an eternal machine. The AI slop has gotten to <laughs> has gotten to this topic apparently. It all starts the exact same way. This guy just built a machine that generates infinite energy in his own garage? No, that's impossible. According to the first and second law of thermodynamics. Remember, the greatest innovations are made by those who dare question the facts. <laughs> <laughs> Every time someone creates a perpetual motion machine, there is a top comment guaranteed that says verbatim. I'm going to read it right from this one. The hardest part of a perpetual motion engine is hiding the motor. We know. We know. You don't have to say it every time you see an unwell individual constructing the water bottle Ferris wheel. I have a vendetta against copy paste comments. I've been raging about this for a long time. You would know if you were a long time subscriber no one is no one's a long time subscriber i wonder how many times this guy hears this look here look i'm gonna look this one too the hardest part of perpetual motion machine is hiding the mo motor <laughs> where is it where is it where is it the hardest part about perpetual motion machines is how to hide the power supply. Ha, who, ho, awesome. The hardest part about making a perpetual motion machine is hiding the motor. I hate this one, especially. What even? <laughs> the spring method. I actually love the spring method, but this AI voice talking over top of it, get out of here. <sighs> okay, now th these are all examples of people who have tried to break boundaries, to come up with something new. And most of the times they either get stopped by the government or they're not as smart as their schizophrenic minds think they are. But here is a guy, the only guy that I have ever seen to actually succeed in creating something crazy with no resources. This is Carlos Gaines and he has created a plasma gun in his garage with no money. Look at th that is actually insane. 2% power, barely even his true form. 25% power. No, I haven't seen anyone actually accomplish something like this. Oh my God. <laughs> You better not go to this guy's house. And look, he's figuring out how to make a lightsaber. He loves fire. They love fire. You can build, <laughs> you can build plasma sabers, plasma guns. That's insane. You can build plasma sabers, plasma guns, but like refuse to change the battery <laughs> in your smoke detector. <sighs> That is crazy. That's like, this is like the most dangerous thing I've ever seen. That is crazy. Actually like the first plasma gun ever made. And it was by just some, uh, just like a couple people in their, in their garages. Ah, wow. The second most insane build that I have ever seen is Temple OS. If you don't know what this is, it is an operating system like Windows, Linux, Mac for your computer. It was all made. Every line of code was made by one guy, Terry David. Hi, I'm Terry Davis. I'm the smartest programmer that's ever lived. I was chosen by God to make his temple. Two guys, two guys, maybe. Terry and God, I guess. Because the whole operating system is laced with Christianity. Three gigahertz clock. And I'm getting a random word every... <laughs> Terry David made the temple with a chat GPT like word generator that predicted COVID. This guy's for real. I'm like, dude, man, let me try to explain this to you. Um, I have a motorcycle. 
he, this dude's insane. The music is created using God RNG. Everything is written in a programming language that this guy made called Holy C. The thing has a flight simulator written by one man. He is God's chosen programmer. I mean, this is a feat like, this is a computer science feat, like second only to the dude that made Roller Coaster Tycoon in assembly. I, I honestly think this is more impressive. Like this is insane. Listen to this music. I love exploiting the elderly. This is the greatest proof that you can you can make some bank off of uh, your schizophrenic grandfather's delusions. This woman. Today we're gonna go through the table of contents for the holy text that my schizophrenic grandfather wrote for the religion that he created. This woman's grandfather wrote this entire like one foot wide Bible. He created his own religion, marked the entire history of mankind. It's actually one of the craziest things on this. It's not, there's no science involved this is just pure the purest form of delusions have been trickled down into this book this is what happens when you uh don't visit your grandparents <laughs> you just disconnect from them send them to the home and then they'll dope them up on opium and morphine and then three months later you'll have yourself your own one of these books that you can make tiktok content about it's genius i kind of skimmed through the comments on my last video and i want to touch on the points that i feel like i saw the most so let's go the official name of the room who bound this book the church of lord messiah jesus christ of millennial day saints which if you know about Mormonism, it's extremely similar to their name. It's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Again, that was the last religion that he joined before he started writing this. Um, and if you know anything about Mormon lore and how it was founded, Joseph Smith, the founder of the Mormon church, um, decided that there was no true religion on the face of the earth. So he created his own. And my grandpa kind of had the opposite idea where- I wanna get a copy of this book. I wonder if she sells it on the TikTok shop. No, I don't, I don't think she does. There are new people that invent the car that runs on gasoline. <laughs> Every six months, there's a new person that comes out of the woodwork. They say, I've created mankind's savior. We're going to remove fossil fuels from the equation. And then three months later, they disappear off the face of the earth. <laughs> I wonder why that happens. I wonder why they don't. I don't. I wonder why this hasn't been adopted more widely throughout the world. What more proof do you need that my car runs on water? Okay, everybody's asking the same thing all the time. The story of Stanley Meyer and his invention of the water-powered car shows us truly how controlled we are. Scrolling through this, it's like seeing dead people walking. Hey, you're doing good work, soldier. Everyone here is absolutely... Your car could have been fueled by just water, and here's how. Everybody here. Everybody here. They'll silence them all. <laughs> it's like seeing dead people walking. Anyone that comes out with like, here's how I did this. They never finished that tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> they never finished the schematics. I've talked about how a water-powered car scientifically is impossible before, but I guess- You're a fed, be quiet. This is the dude that created the homunculus in Russia with his semen and a few chicken eggs. I know it's fake, but I wanted to give an honorable mention to the first deranged scientist that I saw on the internet. Ew! <laughs> Oh, oh, dude, that was your spawn. Oh my God. No, this isn't the guy. What the heck? Okay, this is the dude. Yep, there it is. Sperm, egg, keep it in a dark place. <laughs> That's insane. That's horrible. That's your spawn. <gasps> little baby, a little baby. Legendary man, a legendary dude. This is a long series. Oh God, this is alien level stuff. The difference between someone like I did a thing, Hacksmith or stuff made here or that like awful inventions guy and these guys is that the YouTuber is an icon of fame and greed posing in front of the machine that they actively tried to make dangerous while the schizo inventor here merely lets you gaze upon their device for the device speaks for itself in its innovation and they have legitimately no regard for their safety. I am no stranger to occasionally create the thingamabob. Check out what my lab boys whipped up a long time ago.
to be a YouTube reviewer with enough dark nutties lore to fill that entire schizophrenic grandfather book. The next time you see a doohickey on your phone, I ask that you sit back, enjoy the show, and give some love. Comments. I love this. I heard psychiatrists have a specialty in making these kinds of devices. Maybe try and team up with one, please. And that's all I wanted to talk about. Thank you for watching my video. I'm going to see if I can come back and figure out this math.